Growing up, I remember my first experiences were one to escape my habitual environment. My parents were hardcore religious. You know, they believed in God and they really tried to force that behavior onto me. And I remember a good two and a half years being vilified. As an escape, I actually joined the military. And in some ways it gave them a, a false sense of security that made me straight. And in fact, it just validated that I just was more attracted to men. And I remember my mom sending me to a psychiatrist, a Christian psychiatrist. This guy had spent a year trying to tell me that I was, you know, choosing to be this way, that I could effectively cure myself. And I was at a gay club in Garden Grove and I saw that fucker in the gay bar. And I just thought, what a fucking hypocrite. I was about 14 and I walked in quite cunningly into a porn shop in my hometown and me and my friends used to go in there all the time and the guy that worked at the counter didn't give a shit. We'd sit there and make fun of the videos and their titles and come on my tits, volume eight. And I remember seeing in the gay section a Tom of Finland book and I remember stealing it. There's this hypersexuality, even though taboo, but it was very in your face. And I took it home and I fucking chopped off for like months off this stuff. And my mom found it under my bed and told me that those are the type of men that take you home and beat you up. I swear to God, I thought to myself, I'm going to have to investigate this a little further. <laughs> A-S-S-K-I-S-K-A-T-R-O-N 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 Queer core scene for me meant that it was okay to be gay. People were already fearful of gays. It made them really uncomfortable because you were unflinching, you were unapologetic. You weren't in you know, a feather boa and high heels. You were in a black leather jacket and tattoos. And the thing that made a lot of people crazy about it was that it started out anywhere. You could be in San Francisco, you could be in Seattle. And there were other guys, other girls that were drawn to it. You'd have these zine fests and hardcore parties, and they were somehow considered outlaws. And that's always appealed to me than being with the popular group. Never open a fucking tattoo shop, I swear to fucking god. <laughs> fucking dicks. Hello? Yeah? I think I've done every fucking bullshit thing that a loser could do. I went into the army, went to beauty school. I got thrown out of beauty school. I was singing Telegram, you know, worked in porn. Oh, great. We are so looking forward to it. 
what's wrong? There's a little facial hair stuck in there. <laughs> just these things. <laughs> I just I'm like, sure, why not? I think as a tattooist, you have to have a hooker's mentality. You have to have a hustle. Get back down on the ground and take them off, you little fucker. <laughs> I didn't mean to name the shop Prick. It was by accident, really. I had a friend also named Henry. I had lost him in a bar and I was pissed as a fart. I couldn't find him. I heard the name Henry. So being the coy and conniving person that I am, I started to eavesdrop. They were talking about my friend Henry. and They were like, oh, he's such a lovely guy. and He's so cute and they love his back piece that I did. And it said, I don't know why he hangs out with that tattooed prick. And I was like, wait a minute, that's me. And when they said, you're still a prick. I was like, oh my God, that's it. That's the name of the fucking shop. Nearly 20 years into tattooing, I find I don't get the relish to say a new kid who wants to do a stopwatch or a skull rose. I enjoy tattooing, but I enjoy the engaging with the customer more than the tattoo because I'm working for the other person. But when I'm doing my artwork, fucking no one can touch me. It's my money, my skills, my balls on the butcher block. That brings me a bigger joy now than tattooing. Don't get me wrong, tattooing has been very, very good to me. It's afforded me to really not want for anything. And that's a good feeling. Better than anything my parents have ever had. That's for sure.